I've let the conversation stray from its course, Ishmael said grumpily, and shifted to a new position, rocking the wagon on its springs. What I wanted you to see is that each lever culture is an accumulation of knowledge that reaches back in an unbroken chain to the beginning of human life. This is why it's no great wonder that each of them is a way that works well. Each has been tested and refined over thousands of generations. Yes, something occurs to me. Go ahead. Give me a minute. This has something to do with the unavailability of knowledge about how people ought to live. Take your time. Okay, I said a few minutes later. Back at the beginning, when I said there was no such thing as a certain knowledge about how people ought to live, what I meant was this. Certain knowledge is knowledge of the one right way. That's what we want. That's what takers want. We don't want to know a way to live that works well. We want to know the one right way. And that's what our prophets give us. And that's what our lawgivers give us. Let me think about this. After five or eight thousand years of amnesia, the takers really didn't know how to live. They really must have turned their backs on the past. Because all of a sudden, here comes Hammurabi. And everyone says, what are these? And Hammurabi says, These, my children, are laws. Laws? What are laws? And Hammurabi says, Laws are things that tell you the one right way to live. What am I trying to say? I'm not sure. Maybe it's this. When you started talking about our cultural amnesia, I thought you were being metaphorical, or maybe exaggerating a little to make a point, because obviously you can't know what those Neolithic farmers were thinking. Nevertheless, here's the fact. After a few thousand years, the descendants of these Neolithic farmers were scratching their heads and saying, Gee, I wonder how people ought to live. But in that very same time period, the leavers of the world hadn't forgotten how to live. They still knew. But the people of my culture had forgotten, had cut themselves off from a tradition that told them how to live. They needed a Hammurabi to tell them how to live. They needed a Draco and a Salome and a Moses, and a Jesus, and a Muhammad, and the leavers didn't, because they had a way, had a whole bunch of ways that, hold on, I think I've got it, take your time, every one of the leavers ways came into being by evolution, by a process of testing that began even before people had a word for it, no one said, okay, let's form a committee to write up a set of laws for us to follow, none of these cultures were inventions, but that's what all our lawgivers give us. Inventions, contrivances, not things that had proved out over thousands of generations, but rather arbitrary pronouncements about the one right way to live. And this is still what's going on. The laws they make in Washington aren't put on the books because they work well. They're put on the books because they represent the one right way to live. <laughs> you may not have an abortion unless the fetus is threatening your life or was put there by a rapist. There are a lot of people who would like to see the law read that way. Why? Because that's the one right way to live. You may drink yourself to death, but if we catch you smoking a marijuana cigarette, it's the slammer for you, baby, because that's the one right way to live. No one gives a damn about whether our laws work well. Working well is beside the point. Again, I'm, I'm not sure what I'm getting at. Ishmael grunted. You're not necessarily getting at one specific thing. You're exploring a deep complex of ideas, and you can't expect to get to the bottom of it in 20 minutes. True. However, there is a point I set out to make before we go on to other things, and I would like to make it. Okay. You see now that the takers and the leavers accumulate two entirely different kinds of knowledge. Yes, the takers accumulate knowledge about what works well for things. Believers accumulate knowledge about what works well for people, but not for all people. Each lever people has a system that works well for them because it evolved among them. It was suited to the terrain in which they lived, suited to the climate in which they lived, suited to the biological community in which they lived, suited to their own particular tastes, preference, and visions of the world. Yes, and this kind of knowledge is called what? I don't know what you mean. Someone who knows what works well for people has what? Well, wisdom. Of course, now you know that knowledge of what works well for production is what's valued in your culture. 
In the same way, the knowledge of what works well for people is what's valued in lever cultures. And every time the takers stamp out a lever culture, a wisdom ultimately tested since the birth of mankind disappears from the world beyond recall. Just as every time they stamp out a species of life, a life form ultimately tested since the birth of life disappears from the world beyond recall. Ugly, I said. Yes, Ishmael said, it is ugly. After a few minutes of head scratching and earlobe tugging, Ishmael sent me away for the night. I'm tired, he explained, and I'm too cold to think.